why be an adult when you can essentially continue being a kid forever? Yeah, and have somebody else pay all your bills. Yeah. I'm but just, it's love. Uh, uh, it's love. Just, just an observation. It's the true deal, Pop. She's different. She's different. She loved me. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Chad Swagger is who Bad Pop would be if he hadn't joined the Army. A typical American male who enjoys getting drunk on the weekends with ambitions to become a beer baron and a lousy lover to platinum blonde Icelandic bombshells. Half as charming as he thinks he is, and twice as desperate, The Bro Next Door is free on Amazon Kindle, but it's an extra 10 if you want a kiss on the mouth. A link is in the description. Welcome to the Jukes of Hazard. I'm Blake, this is Pop. Oh! And it's time for a ride and roast with two Richards in a tiny car that gets great gas mileage. Well, it's, I gotta fix it. There's some shit going on with it. Well, at least you can turn the heat off. It's not yes. like the truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was bad news bears. Man. In the summer, that's bad, but yep. in the winter, it's good. It's not so bad in the fall or spring either. That's a bad. That's a bad. Uh, 14 miles to the gallon in that pickup truck's. Uh, can't afford I'm retired, man. Oh, especially now, yeah. yeah Welcome I... to Bidenomics. <laughs> Everybody signed up for this shit. All 81 million of you, right? <laughs> What a bunch of horse shit. Oh my god, I could go on and on about that. But we're not allowed. Nope, not on YouTube. But if you remember our last ride and roast, you remember that we were talking about a sugar mama, 19 years I think she was older than him? Yeah. Something like that. I don't, but he was somewhere in like his late 20s, right? Yeah, she was so, 44. Yeah, so like he's old enough to make rational decisions, so it is what it is. Allegedly. Well, no, I mean, if he's not 34 yet, the big head clearly has not overpowered the little head. I'm going to have to concede to you are correct. <laughs> this week, woman 21 dating 54 year old sugar daddy insists she's marrying him for love. Love. If this was like in Asia or maybe South America, I might be more inclined to believe this. But it's not. It's She's not. a local girl. Impossible. Nicole Downs, 21, has dated Michael, 54, for years. She brands him her sugar daddy, but says that the love she has for him is genuine and says she wants to marry him and take half his shit. She's setting herself up to be a wife institute. Feminazis will claim it is a double standard all day long. It's such a stigma, you know, older men are seen as awesome for dating younger women and older women are not treated the same when they date younger men. That's why we have to attack both. You know why? Because it is complete bullshit. But it is usually the person with two X chromosomes who's doing the, uh, the, wow. the wiggle worming. I've noticed this about women is they will almost always take the easy way out. Why be an adult when you can essentially continue being a kid? Forever. Yeah, and have somebody else pay all your bills. Yeah. I'm but just, it's love. I, I'm just, it's love. Just, just an observation. It's the true deal, Pop. She's different. She's different. She loved me. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Sure, sure. I mean, she's not bad. She's the epitome of what I would call average. I mean, she's not like, you know, walk down the runway gorgeous or nothing, but she's no. she's all right. I'm wondering if this is before or after all the plastic <laughs> surgery. Let's find out. A 21-year-old woman who is dating a man 33 years her senior says she's marrying him for love, despite <laughs> him buying her anything she wants. Okay. And she calls him a sugar daddy. You know, back in the day... You know, women got married so they would have stability and somebody would, you know, take care of them and shit because that's the way things were. And let's be honest, if you were to put a gun to these ladies' heads, they would admit that's really still what they want. Pretty much. They just want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to be hooers and then they still want to be taken care of after they deplenish their value. Correct. They give it away for free and then they want that one sucker to pay full price for the smashed up 76 Buick Riviera. Ugh. Oh, that's your car? Now there's your problem. <laughs> Name one thing that gains value after multiple owners and multiple injuries, if you know what I mean. 
I really can't think of anything. But you know what really vexes me? I'm going to borrow a Shakespearean term about this whole thing. Feminists will whine about older dudes getting with younger women. We know what it's really about. It's because older dudes have more resources, and these women who are depleted and depreciated beyond all measure, they want those resources, and they bought the lie that said, as you get older, you attain more value. It's not true. Men don't care. Yet they will scream Yas Queen Slay when someone like Jennifer Lopez says that men are all but useless to women until they turn 30. So she's encouraging these women to go after older men, but it, no, not them, these older men. You shouldn't be that much older. You're just trying to manipulate younger women when you do that, please. <laughs> We're gonna read the rest of this article. You tell me who's manipulating who. You ever get tired of women staring at that bulge in your pants? <laughs> you know what I mean. Come on, lady, my eyes are up here, right? Well, thanks to kevinsconcealment.com, there's the cure for that. And at the same time, you get to exercise your Second Amendment rights at work and <laughs> not get fired. You take your bulge, put it in the holster, and <laughs> voila! You guys thought I was talking about something else. That's a homo suspicion point. Space Ghost is on. Go to kevinsconcealment.com and check out if they have a holster for your sidearm. Use the discount code POP, P-O-P-P, -P, links in the description. Nicole Downs, 21 from Michigan, U.S., has dated boyfriend Michael, 54, for years. Hopefully not more than three, because that's how you go to jail. <laughs> she brands him her sugar daddy, but says that the love she has for him is genuine. Nicole has racked up 482,000 followers on TikTok after sharing clips about their 33-year age gap relationship. And that's why TikTok is nothing but a platform for mental illness. Most of the social media caters to people with mental illness. The shape this new culture war is taking. A lot of it is because they have tried to normalize deviancy and mental illness. And you're a bigot if you stand for traditions that actually worked. <gasps> you're a phobist. A phobist. How dare yeah. you bring me your phobist bullshit around here? Yeah. You know, you're a phobic this, phobic that. We're just going to attach phobic to everything. You keep saying that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> She often shares photos of them together as they go on lavish shopping sprees with Michael, splashing out on designer clothing for Nicole. Why would you splash out on the clothing? The dude, I mean, if he could afford this, you know, and he's careful and he doesn't, like, get married, ride it up, man. It's, it's in the carnival ride for you. He's got himself a, you know, a little honey that's 33 years younger than him. Some men would call that living the dream. Yeah. Now, if he loses all of his money on this piece of trim... Yeah, that's stupid. That'll become a nightmare. Which has happened. For those of you. No, who... never! It's what? real nerve! Well, okay, when I started <laughs> this whole ridiculous thing, right, it was mainly to try to combat male suicide, soldier suicide, shit like that. And in my journey, I've, I've become like a psychiatrist, marriage counselor, divorce counselor. I mean, I, I just. I could see you doing the latter, not so much the former. I know. I literally communicate with like two to three people a day who are having like some of the worst f***ing days of their life. It's a natural progression when you think about it mm -hmm. because the male self-deletion rate yep. arguably stems primarily from our relationships becoming relationships. Absolutely correct. Once they make that conversion, once a woman's done, she like flips a switch in her head and, and like literally... You just become dead to her. <laughs> It can happen in the same discussion. <laughs> and she's going to say she outgrew you and you're going to get molted. It'd be nothing but a hollow shell of yourself left behind uh, by this bitch. He's even paid for her plastic surgery procedures, such as her Botox lip injections and most recently a Brazilian butt lift. What the hell's a Brazilian butt lift? I think that's when they actually put boob implants in your butt. Eh, no pun intended. Kazumi Squirts had the same procedure done and from what I understand, to this day, still can't sit down. And if, if it hurts to sit down, well, there goes her social life. <laughs> Here's a thought, though. What the fuck is a 21-year-old doing getting all of these procedures? I mean, yeah, she's average, but 
I wouldn't kick her out of bed if I was 55 and needed the little blue pills. I am a full supporter of women getting procedures, especially when they're like north of 35 and it's necessary. But when you're that young and if your shit isn't uh, up to par and you're artificially making it that way, that wall's going to hit you exceptionally hard when it when you come up to it. You go from zero to hag in 10 years. And this chick is going to be well on her way. Because if this is where it's starting at yep. 21, oh just imagine God. what she's going to look like at the end when she's setting up, you know, camping gear and boxed wine in Catland. However, TikTok star Nicole has spoken out multiple times about wanting to marry him and spend the rest of their lives together. Until she gets enough of an ego from the attention she's going to get after all of these surgeries that, well, maybe I can do better. Right. That's actually very, very common. There's a mm. lot of women out there and they dump a lot of weight or they, or they get their, their boobs done mm. and now they have better bait. And yep. then they dump their dude, look for something better. Ask any dude out there who's divorced, if his divorce wasn't preceded by his ex either having plastic surgery of some kind or dumping a lot of weight, you're going to hear yes more often than not. <laughs> yes, you are. Or you just ask him if he lost his job. Through sickness and health, richer for poorer, right? Men say that and they have to answer it yay or nay. Women answer those questions with only if. Promise to love, honor, and cherish to the exclusion of all others. I do. <laughs> Nicole announced she was dating Michael on Instagram back in August of 2020. She wrote at the time, So I've never really posted a pic of us, me and my boyfriend, of over a year, 10-2018. Oh. Now here we go. So she would have been just barely 18 years old. Okay, groomer. <laughs> Trolling high school. Ooh. If the left is going to come out in defense of Marxist teachers coming out to their sixth grade class and, you know, introducing child orn pay as reading assignments, yep. I really don't see anything wrong with this. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, if you're going to pick that hill to die on, you can't really get mad about this one, ladies. After all, we're useless until we're 30, right? That's right. So by the time you're 55, you are very useful. Just not to the women who complain about that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, you're only useful if you can provide money. The cash cow. Yep. The women that you hear complaining about 55-year-old dudes betting down 21-year-olds and giving them the world, they want that. But they have squandered their value and flushed it down the toilet along with most of their conceived children. Oh! <laughs> Some thug might life. call that uh, plan B. <laughs> thug life, man. Thug life. Now, I'm not one of those, like, insane pro-lifers that thinks any woman who's had more than one period is a serial killer. But, uh, <laughs> just say. Ever since we've met, we've been inseparable. I haven't posted him because of our age gap and didn't even want to deal with other people's negativity. But this is my life, and I do what makes me happy. She actually looks pretty decent in that picture. Mm -hmm. Largely Whoa. war paint, I'm sure, and oh, Instagram yeah. filters, but she looks pretty decent in that one. Oh, not so much in that one. That wow. is post-surgery Nicole, complete with catheter. Better than an engagement what ring. The did he, uh, <laughs> uh, what the hell did they do to her? Well, I'm guessing they were doing a little bit of work on her downstairs mix-up as she needed a catheter. I know. I don't know, man. There's just no reason to get that done at that age. Oh, man. So, well, one, you can wind up with a psychosis. Women are crazy enough as it is. And women who get these Brazilian butt lifts, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, photos of what happens when that gets botched. No, I, I don't need to see shit like that. Their, their skin, like, goes on the necrosis and turns from white to black, kind of like a reverse Michael Jackson. And then they got to start sawing shit off you. I'm going to have to go with hell no on that. You can literally lose your ass over this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> So, we can take comfort in the fact that at least if this guy loses his ass over this piece of trim, he won't be alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's a lot of people out there who uh, lost their ass looking for a piece of ass. Amen to that. We've all been there. <laughs> and then they wind up f***ing 
themselves. <laughs> That's why we're here. We're trying to keep you guys from that doing that, bro. Here. And you know what? Since we've all been there, you kind of have to laugh. Yeah, listen, you have to laugh at yourself because uh, sometimes you're the best form of comedy there is. <laughs> Most of the best comedy on this show is just shit that we've already done. Like classic mistakes men make. How many on that list did you personally make? Like 90% of them? At least two thirds. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to lose my ass chasing some ass. I thought I was dating a horse chick. Instead, I wound up with a donkey. Yeah, and it wasn't a show. Oh, Tijuana. Oh, it scars me, man. It still <laughs> scars me. But I have to draw attention to this thing here. This is my life and I do what makes me happy. Is that ever a recipe for success and happiness long term? No. I like happiness, but contentment goes a lot farther. You can be happy for 20 minutes, mm -hmm. but you're not going to be able to maintain it. That's why you never tie one on and put a permanent label with paperwork on temporary lust. Yes. Because lust fades just like looks. It's, listen, lust is fun as hell. I've been oh, yeah. there. Yeah, I rode that boat around the island quite a few times. That's what your 20s are for. Having a relationship with some of these women that uh, I had all this lust for is absolute horse shit. Yeah, sooner or later, you realize why cool points... Go a lot oh, farther. Oh, they go so much farther. And they can override a lot of stuff that, you know, might be a turnoff for you in the beginning. Yeah, but you can only really get there until after you quit dick thinking. And that's that's a tough road. Because mm -hmm. every dude out there has put the hose to a chick. They wouldn't have, you know, glanced at a second time in the bar. But turns out, you know, you hang out with her enough time, she's super cool, and all of a sudden you're like, you know... I could tag that. <laughs> I can look around this. I got you. I've been there. Because her looks are going to fade anyway. And at That's the right. end of the day, if you are actually thinking of having any sort of long-term companionship, personality is uh, kind of important. Hell yeah. Not that this chick would know about that or anything. Mm -mm. In one TikTok video, Nicole joked she went on one date with Michael before moving into his home for two years. Yep. Wow. Have... That's actually very common of horse chicks as well. Oh, man, don't do that to me. Dude, you're bringing back bad memories now. I know, I know. I tagged her maybe two, three times before I let her move in. That was stupid. <laughs> I was stupid. Don't be me. Fortunately, you know, I didn't fall for that. Please benefit from the wisdom of our experience. And wisdom usually comes from being remarkably stupid. Yes. <laughs> don't let anyone fool you into thinking otherwise. A man's wisdom is the most expensive asset he's ever acquired. And it's the most valuable. Yep. Wisdom is the bastard stepchild of failure. Yes, it is. <laughs> While in other clips, she gushes about the items Michael has bought for her over the years, which include multiple Louis Vuitton bags and tons of Forever 21 clothes. Yeah, I remember I used to take my daughter's shopping at that place. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty traumatic. I'd always have, like, long discussions with other fathers who were oh. stuck outside the fitting room just waiting around. Did they try to make you hold her purse? <sighs> I will, no, they know. They know I won't do that. No purse etiquette. No, for you. I will not violate purse etiquette. In another post marking their two-year anniversary, Nicole wrote, "Thank you for everything. I love you more than I've ever loved anyone. You're my best friend when I'm with you. I feel at home. I'm so lucky to have you." Wait. Does anyone out there honestly think that if he was not forking out the thousands upon thousands of dollars to turn this average-looking chick into a living Barbie doll? she would ever give him the time of day? More than likely, no. The only thing left of her would be a vapor trail to the front door if he ever came home and said, well, I bet it all on Pfizer and it went the wrong way. I, I've been there too. That's the first thing they try to do is yep. break your masculinity down. Then mm -hmm. they can put the yoke on you and next thing you know, you're pulling the fucking plow around during the day yep. and the wagon at night forever if you want to know what your life with any woman will look like pay very close attention to how she addresses you and speaks to you in front of her friends absolutely correct you will find out all you need to know very quickly as long as you're not dick thinking for those of you out there that don't know we just drove through downtown mount clemens in michigan state we have a lot of guys always try to guess where we're at so i just tell them yeah while celebrating his 54th birthday she also branded michael her soulmate and partner in crime, writing, every day with you is the best day ever. I love you with all my heart together forever, we. <laughs> the fuck? 
Seriously, I mean. 21 year old mind. I bet you she's banging another dude on the side because. Oh, I guarantee that, That's how a lot of these women roll. It's hilarious that they actually get this stuff promoted. Let me tell you, man, like the UK and Australia are fucking off the hook. It's insane how feminist those countries are. Yep. And they're starting to mirror communism. And they publish stuff like this, mm -hmm. and the 44-year-old dating the guy who's 19 years younger, specifically because they want to give women this false sense of security that if they can do it, you can do it. That's right. Someone wins the lottery, but most of us don't. Someone's living a lie. <laughs> it remains unclear if Nicole has an agreement with Michael to be his sugar baby, or how much she earns from the relationship each month, as she often shares clips using the hashtags sugar baby and sugar daddy. If that guy can afford it, that's just all it is, good on him. Sooner or later, she's going to have her fill. Or he will. And then she's probably going to have five or six guys named Phil. And it could be the dude's like, hey, this is a good thing, but you know, you're 24 now. And could I, be. I think I'm going to find me another 18 You're a little old. old for me. <laughs> you know. All right, cool. You're a little old for me. I like the smell of desitin. <laughs> ah, that's disgusting. I'll tell you what, man. There is a special room in hell for women who call you daddy while you're going to town on them. Well, saying. Latino women do that from time to time. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's yeah, a little weird. weird, yeah. Especially if you're a father. Like, if you're a father and you, your kids call you daddy. Yeah. It's like throwing a hot dog in the Grand Canyon. I've been to the Grand Canyon. How many? Have you ever been there? When I was 11 months old. Oh, yeah. I've been there about three times. Yeah, I went there with my uh, team when I was in the Ranger Battalion. We walked down to the bottom and back nice. in a day. I would have to force myself not to think of some ex-girlfriends looking at a chasm that deep and wide. <laughs> it is a big hole, I'm just going to say. Take one look. So what do you think? Nature's greatest wonders. Liz. I'm sorry, what? Her clips about their relationship have gone viral, racking up 20.5 million likes on TikTok, none of whom are Chinese bots, by the way. Nope. With many people supporting the adorable couple. You're gonna have a few classes of people. You're gonna have dudes who are like, hell yeah, dude, rock on. That's me. And if you're on TikTok and you're a dude, shame on you. Or you're gonna have women like her who feel entitled to men's resources and are delusional enough to think that something like this could happen to them too. Not gonna happen. The chances are no. I always bet the numbers, man. Yep. I always bet the numbers. Do your research. Before you put money on the table, you know exactly your odds of winning, losing, and what happens if you win or lose? Half your shit, and that's the first go around. One person gushed, this is how I strive to be. While another added, it makes me mad seeing someone living my dream, but I love y'all. Living my dream. Oh, uh, it's a delusion. Even what she puts out there for people to consume on this bullshit Chinese spyware uh -huh. is a delusion. A dressed up concoction of what she wants you to see. Emphasis on concoction. <laughs> You can't even really call it social media anymore. It's selective confirmation bias. Well, you're talking about arguing in a bubble? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I bet this chick has a hair trigger on the block button because there's a lot of dudes out there, a lot of people in general, who are not going to be shy about telling her the truth. And if he's smart, which if he's 55 and he waited and groomed this 18 year old and is lavishing all this money on her, he knows too. So why dress it up as something that it's not? Absolutely correct. It's stupid. A third admitted, I used to think this was weird, but the more I watch you guys, it's actually super cute. For now, you just wait. If he wasn't rich, it wouldn't be happening. That's right. If that guy did have any money, that woman wouldn't have talked to him ever. You might think it's cute that she's got a closet full of shoes, but in just a few years time, she's gonna be singing the blues. <laughs> so get a clue. And don't be such a Jew, because all this chick is really doing is exchanging her self-worth in plastic surgery for getting covered in goo. Now, listen, if they're adults, if they're both cool with that, fine. I'm just saying that stuff has long-term consequences. Yeah, we're not telling anybody how to live. They're no. both consenting adults, and I, I hope they were when this started. But odds are this is a temporary arrangement, and this guy just wants her to look and feel the best that she can while he's still into it, 
and then either she's going to get bored and try to move on to something better or he will. If he's got the kind of money needed to land a, you know, a pretty satisfactory piece of 21-year-old trim in his mid-50s. Good on him. Good on And he can do it again. Yeah, he can do it he again. He stayed in good enough shape. He's, he's probably got a, a foot locker full of penis pills. <laughs> but hey. Those do come in handy. <laughs> if it works for you, figuratively and literally. Have at it. Have at it. But with that being said. To the people out there who actually think this is quote unquote adorable and they're living your dream, wake up. Any arrangement like this, temporary at best, catastrophic at worst. I've heard quite a few catastrophic stories in my time. You've heard thousands of catastrophic stories. In yes, your I time. have. Yes, I have. But to hear the Pentagon tell it, Let's leave it to Beaverland. People in the military never get divorced. See, we specifically sample numbers from people who are still enlisted in order to paint a picture that's complete and utter bullshit. It's unbelievable the response I got from them. Well, because most divorces from the military happen after guys complete their tours. And then these women have a prepackaged excuse. Yep. So, well, we're going to say it's enlisted. That way we can lie. From what I have experienced, 90% of all of the frontline soldiers who deployed forward and saw action are divorced within five years of returning stateside. You're not the same man you were when you left, way. I've heard that one. I've heard all kinds of crazy shit. And this chick is not the same person she was when she started getting groomed by this dude. She's yeah. gonna look like somebody hitting a Cole Kidman with a wiffle bat. Yeah, by the time she's just shy of 40, it's gonna really be bad for her. Shit, Nicole Kidman looks like somebody hit Nicole Kidman with a wiffle bat. <laughs> and then she got stung by bees. Uh, and she's allergic. I've seen this, some of her pictures. Not good. Uh, and the thing about work like this that she's having done so fast and at such a clip is that it has to be maintained. So if this is temporary, which my gut is telling me it is, can you imagine the train wreck that is gonna befall this woman when he's no longer there to pay for the upkeep. That's right. It's not even gonna be a train wreck. It's gonna be a, a plain crash. She's gonna look like a bowl of human stew. She's gonna look like that chick who ran out into traffic and got creamed by a semi in the devil's rejects. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She's gonna look like she just crawled out of the pet cemetery. Didn't like that movie. It's a great book though. Yeah. Great book. Book, movie, not so much. Clancy Brown was in the sequel. He's really the only reason to watch that piece of shit. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Clancy Brown, actually, is going to be the, the villain this uh, new season of Dexter that's coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Dexter versus the f***ing Kurgan. How awesome is that? The Kurgan. <laughs> it's better to burn out than to fade away. He did play that well. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And really, that quote right there hammers it home with this article. Yep. And that is how a lot of women are living their lives now. They are burning out because they're too terrified to fade away. I remember when I was in my 20s and I would talk to all of these older gentlemen and in my mind, I'm like, I'll never be like that. Well, <laughs> can't avoid it. Time is going to kick your ass and gravity always wins because sooner or later, y'all get put in the 19th hole. Six feet under. Reduce the smoke. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If you don't take it out and use it, it's going to rust. Could not have said it any better. Well, with that, I think we're, uh, we're yeah. done here on this one. All I can say is, for my final thought, it is a very dark day indeed when you have to talk to 21-year-old girls about the merits of aging gracefully. Stop with all the surgeries, okay? It is to the point now where virtually every single one of these thoughts look the same. You all have the lips and the injections and the filters. There is no differentiating between any of you. All you're doing is proving that you're not a beautiful and unique snowflake and you are most certainly a dime a dozen and you expect to still be treated like a queen. My final thought is this. Karma works. It catches up to you down the road. Life works. You either pay in the beginning or you pay on the back end. When it comes time to pay it in the end, there's all kinds of interest involved. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. And you can only pay with your back end for so long, if you know what I mean. That's right. 
<laughs> Father Time is undefeated, and he is a cold-hearted bastard of a serial killer. He is. He kills everyone, man. He hasn't been caught yet. Genocide. Yep. Uh, pretty much what it is, man. God invented time so he could get away with genocide. <laughs> We'll see you guys next time. If you are watching this on any of our public channels, you are probably missing out because these dudes on Patreon, Subscribestar, and Locals have been getting episodes sometimes like eight to 10 minutes longer than what you guys are getting on YouTube. Yeah. So sign up. You get special live stream Q and A's with the man here for supporters only. Yep. And there's gonna be a lot more exclusive content coming your way. Get on it! Stop avoiding the descriptions. You got all this information down there. Are you afraid to look in the penis area? Is that it? You meat gazers? You bet. They don't like to look in the meat gazer box. <laughs> Check out the meat gazer box. We won't judge. We will all homo suspicion points for the foreseeable future. Looking in the meat gazer box will be suspended.